All right. Praise him. Come on.
So take me out, Lord. Take me out, Lord. Take me out, Lord. I just want you. I just want you. I just want you.
visited uh, these verses of scripture along with some others um, before and my scripture text. I used this as my scripture text and I believe then um, my topic was something like God is the God of the hills and the valleys, but that's not what I want to do today, amen, because he's not just God of the hills and the valleys, amen. So I want you to think about this, God is with me, Amen. period. God is with me, amen. Here we have, amen, the Syrian king, amen, have sent out his army and Israel, Amen. Have fought them in the hills before. Amen. They have fought them. And many of us have had many battles. Amen. Spiritual battles. I'm talking about. We've had spiritual battles. Amen. Amen. With the adversary. And amen. God has been with you. God has given you the victory. Amen. Perhaps you had family battles. And God fought the battles, amen, for you and on your behalf. Uh, you came out on top with the victory. And there are some of us that have had, uh, amen, financial battle, amen. Uh, and perhaps the devil said, well, God was the God uh, that fights the battle, uh, amen, when it's in the family. With the family situation, God will help them. Uh, God will be with them.
today, huh? Because we gotta put the devil on notice, huh? It doesn't matter how you're coming, huh? And I know you're gonna come in a way, huh? That God will allow you to come, huh? But I just want you to know, huh? That when you come that way, huh? God will still be with me, huh? That God has my back, huh? That God is my defense, huh? That God is my warrior, huh? That God is my battle axe, huh? Because you feel like you're losing something. And all the while God is looking over, huh? 
happen. When he allows things to happen, he doesn't just allow it to happen without purpose in mind. He didn't allow it to happen without purpose in mind. But God was trying to get some glory. And sometimes God can't get the glory because we're too busy trying to make it work like, like, like we want it to work. And God said, wait a minute, I can't do it like that because I'm not going to get no glory. I want you to leave it alone and let me have my way so I can get some glory. My God. See, it's just like we say. Unless you have a test, you won't have a testimony. And all of us want testimonies, but we don't want the test. That come before the money, ha. You gotta get the tests, ha, in order to have the money, ha, and put it together, ha, and get a testimony, ha, that glorifies God. <laughs> My God, how could we ever testify that God did it if we won't let Him do it? Yeah. Think about it. How can I testify that God did it if I didn't let Him do it? If I look for other ways, ha, when God said he was going to do it, ha, and if I make my own way, ha, then God didn't make it, ha, so I can't stand up and say, ha, look what the Lord has done for me, ha, I can say, look what I did on my own, ha, but look at God, ha, sometimes you make it impossible, ha, you'll turn to the left, ha, you'll turn to the right, ha, that will close down, ha, that will shut the door, ha, everybody say no, ha, and God has said that's what I want, ha, and you say, well, open the door, open the door, ha, I said I ain't going to open the door, ha, now I get ready to open the door, ha, Show me where you lay. 
Sometimes God won't really entertain, even when we say it, it's kind of like he'll no, ignore what you say. <laughs> Honestly, thank God for that. Because he does know our frailty. He just kind of seems like he ignored it. He don't say anything toward it. Read the Bible. Some things that people say, God didn't even say nothing concerning what they said to him. He just kept going with his own plan. Amen. He told them this, 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 this. You had to do this what I want you to do. Because he knows he got it all in control. He understands that he's with you if you don't understand he's with you. Uh-huh. And so now Jesus has showed up. He's with them. Take me where you like. And they take him there. The Bible said Jesus what? And he gets there and he says the prayer. And, you know, he prayed for that sake. Yes, he let them know I prayed for y'all sake. You know, y'all want to hear me do praying on I'm praying for y'all sake. Y'all can hear me praying to the Father and all of that. And then he simply says these three words. Lazarus, come forth. Well, y'all know dead people can't hear. Amen. Mm. Yes. Woo! But when the master speaks. Yes, yes. I said when the master speaks, yes. my God, God, and only God can do what is impossible to do. The master stepped on the sea. He didn't have to be in the heaven. We saw a heavy God up to town. When God said, no, I'm slowing down on purpose. Yeah. I'm doing it on purpose. I didn't show up on purpose.
his own servant to go and tell the king huh, of Israel the plan of the enemy. Huh? And the enemy king was like, look man, hold up. He said, I, I must have somebody here and my servant that's going back and letting the king of Israel know my plan. And somebody said, no, it's, it's, no, it's not somebody here. But God got his own servant. God got his own servant, Elijah, that's telling the king what you saying in your bedroom. See, God already know what your enemy is conspiring against you right now. He knows the next plan the devil has for your life. Huh? But I come to tell you that God has a plan that will counteract the plan of the devil. Because huh? God is with you. He's with you. Israel shows up, and the scripture says that Israel showed up as two little flocks of kids. Two little flocks of kids. And the Syrians, they showed up, and they filled the whole country. So it was more of the Syrians, much more of the Syrians, than there were of the children of Israel. But see, really, Israel had more with them than the Syrians had with them. Because Israel had God. And the Bible said that all the nations in the world are but a drop in the bucket to God. And so I'm sure that the Syrians probably would say, oh, we got all these people. We're going to turn them off. Plus, that God is not going to be with them this time. We have figured it out. You know, when the devil thinks he has figured it out, he hasn't. He hasn't. God already has a, a strategic plan that he's going to drop it on the devil. But you got to be following the perfect will of God. That's why we got to have an ear to hear what the Spirit has to say to us. Yes. But sometimes the devil just gets us all jumbled up. And, you know, we get confused and we get worried. And when we get worried, I'm going to tell you now, your brain is screwed up. Mm -hmm. See, the Bible said that God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love and of power and of a sound mind. Yeah. God be trying to get us to calm down so he can speak. Because when you're not calm, you can't always hear the spirit of God. You just can't. And God tries to get us to calm down, 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 down so I can talk to you. And I'm not going to be yelling. You know, we, we don't serve God like that. You know, sometimes, you know, uh, your children, they got to know what you say. First time around, sometimes you're like, Johnny, go over there and sit down. If Johnny doesn't do that, which he should, but if he doesn't, then your voice will be a little high. Johnny, go over there and sit down. If Johnny doesn't do that, I know y'all. Some y'all say it by down because you don't got down, but it's nothing less. If he doesn't, your voice will be a little high. Johnny, the next time go over there, sit down. You know. Well, God is not always going to do all of that. Mm -hmm. He just come quietly, and if your spirit is disrupted, and he try to calm your spirit down, if you don't let your spirit calm down so you can hear him clearly, then you are going to make a shipwreck. Yeah. Got to be calm. Calm down so you can hear what the Lord has to say to you. Then he can give you instructions. Then you follow the instructions. That God has given. But the devil understands that. So he'll try to keep our mind going and try to make us like, oh, I'm going to do that. How am I going to fix this? What am I going to do? You know, what you learn along the way when you're walking with God. And I, I learned, you know, settle down. Okay, Lord, I don't know what I'm going to do. So I'm going to need you to work this out. Why am I, why am I going to pull my hair out? I don't have the answer. But I know who do. So I'm, I'm going to give you, you will have to fix this, Lord. And if you got instructions for me, then I want to hear what you have to say so I can do that. Okay? Sometimes you just got to put it over in his hands. Because, listen, we all belong to the Lord. We all belong to him. They're listening to what God would have them to do. They got to do the will. Even though we're small, we're going out here to fight against this enemy. And see, God's name is on the line. See, this is what we got to understand. God's name is on the line. Yes, yes. He be 
leadeth me at the pathway of righteousness for his name's sake. Yes, yes. And because I'm his child, his name is on me. My God. Yes. And God refuses to be defeated by the devil. So therefore, since I'm his child, he is not going to allow the devil to defeat me. But the choice He's with me. Yes. 
sometimes God is trying to tell us, I got you in the battle so you can take some heads off. Because I'm tired of the devil ringing his head off and getting the victory over some of the people that's supposed to have the victory over the devil. And God is saying, who's going to stand up for me in this battle? Huh? Who's going to not allow themselves to be defeated oh, with the devil raising his head? Because huh? they're afraid. Huh? And it's a big situation. Huh? And they feel like they can't handle it. Huh? And they feel like they can't take it. Huh? And they feel like they're about to lose their mind. Huh? Like they're going to have a nervous breakdown. Huh? That's kind of trusting huh? in their power. power to decapitate the enemy that's coming up against you. You hear what I'm saying? I'm so glad. I'm so glad about my Savior. I'm so glad about my Savior because he understood that the Lord was on his side. And yes, he did come down to a place when he was hanging there and he was sinned. And he had to take the wrath of God upon himself for the entire world. That he said, Be like he let my love outside back and high, which was being interpreted, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? But he understood what had to be accomplished. Yes. And he had already sent word, Y'all not going to take my life, but I'm going to lay it down. And in three days, I am going to take it up again. He understood the only way I can do it is God's going to have to be with me. Hallelujah. And so once his life was out of his body, he gave it up himself, by the way. He gave it up. He, he said, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And he gave up the ghost. So they didn't take it. He gave it up. And he went on down there and ran himself a revival for those that had been waiting on him. And in three days he got up out of that grave. And he walked out of that tomb. With all power in heaven and in earth in his hand. And I come to tell you that he came to give you power if you would just believe that he is able. You gotta believe him. And to as many as believe, gave he the power to become the sons of God. So, of course, if you are not saved today, and you want the power of the Spirit of God down on the, on the inside of you, you can just raise your hands right now and say, Lord, I receive in Jesus' name. Open up your mouth and say, Lord, I receive in Jesus' name. And let God fill you with his tongue-talking Holy Ghost Spirit yes. right now where you are. Because he's everywhere at the same time. Yes. God is with me. Amen. It's coming before you. Amen. Amen. As we go to our cash app, we go to our give and five, that we may be a blessing unto the ministry. I hope you realize that in your spirit today, if the devil's been trying to get you off track, mess with your mind, and I know about that, honey. Have you been told? tormenting you, you can't even sleep all night long, you waking up with the situation on your mind, you afraid, feel like you shaking on the inside, I know about that, been there, I understand. Sometimes y'all think like, oh, they saying that, they preaching that, but they don't understand. Trust you, me, we done been through some stuff. I'm not just talking, I, I, I most of the time I'm talking what I've walked. I'm trying to tell you the truth. Amen, amen, amen. God is just so great, and he is just so wonderful. Hallelujah. We just praise him, and we lift up his holy name. Amen. Praise and worship team. God bless you.